Hello everyone, I am Ashwini. Welcome back on my channel. Today we will see the line and stacked column chart in Power BI Desktop. So let's understand it. So uh, we uh, will see what is line and stacked column chart in Power BI and when to use it. Okay. So the line and stacked column chart is a combination of charts that combines line chart and the column chart in the together one visual. Okay. And uh, when we have to use it. So uh, when we have to make a very quick comparison between two sets of measures, then uh, like if we have the two measures as a Y axis, then we can use it and we can create the line and stacked column chart in Power BI so that we can able to understand both the measures in one go. Okay, so let's see how to create it in the Power BI desktop. Here we are in the Power BI desktop and we are having this data set having uh, these five tables, customer, product, return sales data and the users. So for creating the line and stacked column chart, we have to click over here and we'll get this visual in the this page. Okay, so after that we have to add the fields in this uh, shared axis, column series, column values, line values. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll take uh, in the share, uh, shared axis, we'll take the product category. In the column series, uh, we'll take ship mode. So column series is nothing but the legend. We can take, we can say as the legend. Uh, in the column values, we will take the profit and in the line values, we'll take the sales. So in this way, we uh, after uh, taking these fields and these uh, fields for section, we uh, will get this visual in our dashboard. Okay. So uh, let's see how to format this visual. So this is the option for formatting for styling our visual, we can say. So uh, after clicking over here, we'll get this uh, many options for uh, styling our visual. So this is the general option here. From here, we can set the position of this particular visual on the dashboard. And uh, this is the legend option. From here, we can set this legend at the bottom, at the top, at the right, and the at the center also. Okay. So this uh, these are all the options here. And then next uh, option is. This is for X axis, so we can color X axis or uh, whatever uh, the thing is written in the X axis. So we can color that. We can uh, increase the text size of that particular word. We can set the font families or we can bold italic in that particular word. Okay. For Y axis, we can do the same. We can set the position of Y axis from here. We can scale, uh, we can uh, do the scale type. And uh, we can invert the axis. So this is for inverting the axis. So after on this invert axis, uh, we'll get this as inverted. Okay. So before this is like this and after this is like the inverted. Okay. So we'll set as previous. And from here we can uh, color, we can add different color. We can uh, increase the text size and the we can set the font family, we can bold it, italic it and underline it. Okay. So uh, this option zoom slicer is for uh, zooming this particular slicer. So we'll get this strip in the visual and from here we can able to zoom our this a particular visual from here. Okay. So in this way we can zoom it by, uh, uh, by this zoom slicer option. Okay. So the next is the data colors. So uh, we, as we seen in the previous videos, so this is for changing the colors of this particular legends. Okay. So from here we can change the color of the, this line. Okay. This line shows the cells. So here I, change this color as uh, in the blue color. So we will able to see this in the blue color. Okay. And this way we can create, we can change this all colors from here. Uh, this is for the, uh, for adding the data labels. So by after clicking on this button uh, as on, we are able to see the labels on this particular visual. Okay. So this is for uh, the product category technology. And uh, the ship mode is express air and the profit is this. 
okay so it's rounded up up to 37k this value is 36 9 to 8 and this is the rounded up value okay so the next option is the total label so we can add the total labels over this particular bar what is the total label we are able to add it uh, add it here okay so by on this particular uh, total label option we are able to see the total label okay next option is the shapes so from here we can shade that particular area whatever the area covering this line we can able to shade that particular area from this option okay so here are some uh, options are there the line style we can set it as a dashed line or a solid line or the dotted line okay the next uh, option is the plot area so we can able to add the image in this particular plot area from here and uh, also we can set the transparency accordingly okay next option is the series label option so uh, we are able to uh, display the series label from this here we will get the series label okay the next option is uh, the title option we are able to set the title as per our requirement so this is the product and sales by product category and ship mode so uh, we can do it as the heading uh, 2 heading 3 as per our requirement we can color it from here we can change the font color as white and the background color as blue we can align it in the center right and left also we can increase the text size of this particular title from this option we can bold it or we can italic or underline it as per our requirement and we can change the font family so this uh, particular background option is to set the background for this particular visual so we can able to set it uh, by in any color so i can choose this color and uh, we can set the transparency from here okay so this is for lock uh, locking our visual and then this is the border option so that we are able to give the border to this particular visual and uh, we can add the shadow also uh, for if we have to add the tooltip then we can add it from here and uh, also we can set the color and underline it italic and uh, any styling on that particular uh, tooltip also and this is for the visual header option okay so in this way we can style our visual and uh, so if uh, we have to see it in the focus mode so we have to click over here and we are able to see it in the big image okay and then uh, we want if we want to go back so back to the report and then we are able to set in the page okay so in this way we we can create the line and style the column chart for understanding the two measures in one go so uh, if you like my video please do subscribe and share my channel and thank you for watching my video